Charlie Cushane here to do another mod on my RV. Now that I have this beautiful grilling platform and this line that runs from my propane tank to my grill, I find I can't shut this door, which I want to do. So my goal today is to add a quick connect that you can, you see a lot of campers with them and they're like mounted right here underneath and you just hook your line to it to the grill. So that's what I want to do. Sounds easy, right? Turns out it's not as easy as it sounds. So let's take a look at why. about propane and gas grills and high pressure and low pressure. Now when I was going to start doing this quick connect on my camper, I ended up learning all this stuff. This is a standard 20 pound tank, propane tank, and this is the same kind of tank that you screw onto my grill, okay? Which of these do you think has more pressure in it? The answer is they're the same. These are both high pressure devices. They can range anywhere from 100 to 200 PSI. And in general, they're around 145 at room temperature, around 70 degrees. And the pressure fluctuates depending on the temperature outside. So the thing to remember is both of these are high pressure and this screws onto here. So this is what they would call a, a high pressure type grill um, because this little gray thing you see here is a regulator and that knocks the pressure down from the 145 in these down to a half a psi which is very light and that's what you cook with only a half a psi so you have to be careful when you're doing your plumbing to get it right um, this hose i want to get that will simulate this tank means this is going to be carrying high pressure and this is rated at 350 psi so this is really good this right this quick connect i bought is wrong it looks right and it, everybody is using these but this is only rated at 10 psi and like i said these are 145 this is well too too low you have to buy a high pressure coupling and in a minute, I'll show you the difference between this and a high pressure coupling. Okay, one thing to note, you can hook off of the top of your tank, like I'm doing, which keeps it high pressure, and come to this, which keeps it high, into this regulator, so this whole system is high pressure. So my coupling and everything has to be high pressure. However, most RVs come with one of these sticking out the, the side, which is low pressure, which means after the tank goes through a regulator and then into this. So you need to have a low pressure grill. What you can't do is if there's a regulator here, and the line comes, you cannot go through a second regulator. That won't work. So you have, to, you have to really know what kind of pressure you have going to this quick connect. Because right now I'm going high pressure to high pressure. And the reason I'm doing that is a lot of times I'll take this grill over to my neighbor's site to grill. So I still want to have the ability to use these high pressure little green canisters. So I'm keeping the system the way it is. However, I could have taken this regulator off and just come after the regulator on the RV over to this. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it all high pressure. So that's something you have to really keep in mind or think about when you're doing your propane connect. Okay, here's a quick test to sort of demonstrate the difference between a low pressure, half a PSI, and I have an air compressor with this air nozzle. That's about a half a PSI. It won't even barely move these washers. But that's enough pressure 
to run your grill, half PSI. But let's see at the high pressure what it looks like. Okay, now this is high pressure. The max my compressor will do is 135. As you can see, you don't want to mix up the two. Okay, the first thing I have to do is take the propane tanks out of here. So I can get in there to do the plumbing, new plumbing. There we go. Make sure the both tanks are off. Okay, the way I'm going to plumb this is with this half inch steel galvanized pipe. In Florida, you can't get um, black steel pipe, which is typically for propane and gas. In Florida, they use this galvanized pipe. Same steel, just galvanized instead of blackened. Um, so my goal in setting this up is the fewest connections possible. Like you see here, this is a half inch MPT to right to a quarter inch of which the propane will come down from the gas tanks and this hooks up right under the propane tanks. It'll come down through this 45 degree, which sort of bumps this over a little bit. It'll come down the pipe. Then I got a um, half inch to quarter inch MPT brass fitting here, onto which my quick connect coupling will go on. So, so now my job is using this yellow Teflon tape. And you have to use the yellow, it's thicker and more robust. You don't use the white that you normally see, you use this yellow. And do all these joints. Then I'm gonna put it in and pressure test it. So let's put this together. Okay, I got my pipe clamped in the vise with some pieces of wood so I don't wreck it. Now I'm gonna wrap it with some of this Teflon tape. There we go. Perfect. As you can see, this has a shutoff, safety shutoff too. So that's perfect. This high pressure coupling. Okay, I've started the mounting process. What I did is I put my tank back in after I ran a line and drilled a hole. As you see the line all the way to the back and it goes through comes through the floor and to my plumbing now I'm gonna turn the gas on and pressure check this and then I, my plan is to never take it apart again so I'll know the joints are always good so let me go do that I got some soapy water and I'm turning the gas on. There we go. So I know I'm at full pressure now. Now, let's check every single joint. This is really soapy. Aha, good thing I did this. This joint right here has bubbles. I don't know if you can see them. See the bubbles? That means that joint right there is not tight. So I have to go do some more tightening and then check it again. Okay, it's under pressure. This is what I call leak test two. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Not a single bubble. Perfect. Now I can P 
paint this black, which is what I wanted to do, and then install it. So let's paint it black next. So we're all taped up on the ends, and I'm gonna use this flex seal. So that rubber coating stuff, just to make sure it stays nice. dry for a while and then I'll put another coat on okay as you can see I'm holding up the pipe with my jack now I'm gonna take these clamps but I'm gonna put a piece of rubber in there just to make it a little more robust and tight so it won't wiggle around Now that I got it all mounted, I'm going to uh, put some of this flex seal on it. details I'm going to do is make a protector for that black pipe under the camper. So let's go over to the, the bandsaw and cut on that line. Okay, here's what I made out of some Schedule 40 PVC pipe. It's as a cover on the end and what this is going to do and I have these screws all ready to install as you can see I'm going to put caulking around the whole edge I'm going to put it up under the camper and this will just block all the rain and water and everything else getting on the pipe and make it just a little more protected before installing this is put a bead of caulking around the whole perimeter There we go. That's nice and solid. There we go. Everything's nice and tight. Let's try it out. There we go. Opens right up. So this just goes normally like that. And you hook it on. And that covers the end and keeps it all nice and clean. I love it. The last thing I want to do is put some more of this flex seal over this PVC pipe. I don't really need to but everything else here is black so I sort of want to make this black as well. It's all greatly sealed with silicone so that's going to protect that pipe really well. I Okay, so here we are for a final look at how the whole um, propane quick connect came out. As you can see, 
underneath the PVC pipe that I made all black protects the steel pipe inside. And then here on the end, I have a special cap. You just undo these toggle clamps. There it is. And then you can hook your propane. Perfect. And that goes to the grill. And then when you're done, you make sure your valve is off. And then you put these toggle clamps back on. And it stays nice and protected. So that came out perfect. I'm very happy with how this came out. And it'll give years of enjoyment. Another successful mod.